First and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavaka Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, who we reverence and double honour to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teaches truth well, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe. It's going to be a quick, 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 quick hit. Okay. Quickly getting into this topic. I don't really like to go into endless genealogies and all that rubbish, but we're going to get straight to it. Okay. This is Luke 3 and 38. Okay. Which was the son of Enos. All right. Which was the son of Seth. All right. Which was the son of of Adam and when you go to Luke 3 and 38 it tells you about all the genealogies okay which was the son of Adam which was the son of God yes directly the son of God okay and then what the breath of life was what breathed in what Adam okay and what was that that was a standard that was what an instruction okay a way to live of what righteousness Okay, and that was supposed to be passed down through Eve also. Okay, and that's where you get what? The, the sons of God. So now I want to go straight into because the individual said, oh, we came from Cain. No, there was two lions. You had Abel and you had Cain. And Cain was of the wicked one. It tells you that. Okay, so let's go straight to... Let me just a minute. I'm going to get into this for us. Genesis 4. And... get straight to it we're going to go to genesis 4 when you go to genesis 4 and when you go straight to 17 genesis 4 and let's go to genesis 16 and 23 we're not going to read all of it but when you go to that what does it mention it mentions his lineage we're not going to read it it mentions all of his lineage so if Cain was wicked so he had a line that was wicked Okay, we're going to go straight to Genesis 4, because there's a lot, and 25, alright, and Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son, and called his name Seth, alright, Seth, and we're going to go into the word Seth, for the most I said she have appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew, okay, so Cain, remember he slew Abel, and Abel was upholding what righteousness. Cain was not. That's why he what sacrificed what a couple of apples and pears. Okay. Cain had a whole different philosophy in his mind. Okay. Abel was upholding the ways of righteousness because he had a what righteous sacrifice, which was what blood. The Lord he delighted in the blood of sacrifices, not some fruit. And we're gonna go into what that word Seth. Strong's G forty five eighty nine safe 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 all right let's go and when you go into word safe what does it say compensation so Seth was brought back as compensation for Abel and to uphold what the, the right ways okay that same instruction that was what passed down through Adam okay righteousness because what Cain tried to cut off that line okay because he was wicked okay and this is simple this is basics I want to do a more in-depth lesson my battery's running out I want to do a more in-depth lesson the third son of Adam and the father of Enos all right and when you go to Strong's Greek lexicon in the place of the murdered Abel so he took that place and that's what it says compensated so she was compensated for the son she lost through Seth all right who Cain slew so we tried to cut off that righteous line and to Seth okay remember through envy of the devil <laughs> okay and to Seth to him also there was born a son and he called his name Enos which was what the son of God okay the righteous line then began men to call upon the name of the Lord okay upholding what that righteousness 
All right. There's always been a battle between good and evil. Always. You have a righteous seed and you have a wicked seed. And the seed of Cain was a wicked seed. So bear me just a minute. We're going to read a bit more of this. This book is of the generations of Adam in a day that the, the powers created man in the likeness of the Most High made him. The powers. It's lucky. Okay. Bear me just a minute. Okay, we're going to quickly continue this. What one? Genesis chapter 5. This is the book of the generations of Adam. Okay. In the day that powers created man in the likeness of most high made he him all right after the image of what gods male and you notice how it says female created he rem okay and blessed rem okay so when it says male and female he created with rem yes you had those that would come out of adam male and female that's why they were known as the sons of god and what also daughters okay to uphold that way now of righteousness and he called their name adam and you notice how it says their name so the sons of daughters they were also known what as adam in the day when they were created and adam lived 130 years and begat a son in his own likeness after his image okay so he was following if it's after your image he was following after what that same pattern of righteousness i call his name seth and you've got the rest of the genealogy all the way down to verse 10. Okay. From Seth to what? To when Adam died to Enos to what? To Enos to Seth to Canaan. If I'm saying it right, Canaan. To Mahalalial. Okay. To Jared. Okay. And to Enoch, the righteous line. Okay. Righteous line, and remember, you had a wicked line, and the, the line of Cain it was a wicked line. Okay, why do you think Cain took out his brother Abel? And Abel was of that righteous line. Okay, it's, it's very easy to understand if you have understanding. Bear me just a minute, gonna have to do another lesson on this, Lord willing. So, we're gonna go to first John 3 and 12. And you also, when you go into the genealogy of Chronicles, the first book of Chronicles, it says Adam, Saf, Enosh. Canaan, Mahalal, Jared, Henoch, Mashalal, Lamech. It tells you the genealogies in what? First Chronicles. It tells you. First John 3 and 12. So if you, if anybody's telling you, we're all from Cain. No, we're not. Okay. Cain was of a wicked line. You had a separation of Cain. Just because Cain and Abel, they were brothers. Yes, they were brothers, but you had one wicked and you had that one from a line of righteous. It's always been like that. You had the sons of the wicked, you had the sons of God, and you had the sons of men. And the sons of God were to, were to uphold that righteousness. Verse, bear me this one, let's go to First John 3 and 12. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, that wicked seed, and slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him because of his own works. His own works were not of righteous. They were evil, and his brothers righteous. All right, so this video is a quickie and just to let you know that yes, you had Adam, okay, you had the direct sons of what Adam, or the sons of God, which what came, Enos, okay, and Seth, and though therefore you had a righteous line. All right, and when it says Adam, they were, okay, it was speaking about what the woman, yeah, you had daughters that came from Adam, and you had the men, okay. To what to uphold that ways of righteous righteousness so with this lesson i really hope this was edifying just a quick hit and until the next time shalom